Hello and good evening. My name is John and I'm playing 1993 Space Machine. I don't know if this game was made in 1993, but I can only base it on what I know so far. This is part of my Steam Cleaning series where I go through every game in my Steam library, yeah, eventually, and play them and then arbitrarily decide if they are good or bad based on 15-25 minutes of playtime. I have no idea what this game is, but that guy has a monocle, so he's got to be pretty cool, and we're going to jump right in. Uh... Play normal mode. Move your controller. I'll be blue. The mineral planet of Denox is perfect breeding ground for Nestor's army, which seems to have seems to be well aware of your presence. Sensors have detected high power magnets that will affect maneuver your ship. Alright. Welcome to the armory. I'm Elron Hubcap. All right, that must be a joke on Hubbard. Please make one class of... Press fire to select a ship. Can't buy those. Gold punch? I'll save the interceptor. Weapons. I don't have any money, so I can't buy those. On road to Denmark. Getting to Denark will take you through the Dragon Nebula, which should be breeze. Take that turn to collect lots of crystals. It's like a dragon nebula. All right. All right, so I'm getting some money. like a feel of a Gradius style game okay, here. Collecting money. Oh, I thought that was money. This is pretty chill, just, you know, making our way through the world today. Takes everything we got. This is another case where, like, I kind of wish they would just have you auto-fire. 700 meters! So-called Metal Mauler, as Sven likes to call himself, always tries to prove his worth to Nestor. It's more like a wannabe with too much attitude. His bottom plates are in the print shop. Hi, Kerbal. Uh-huh. I died! Having a lot of uh, shields help. Mm. 
health bar yes okay I see it up there it's tiny yeah without the weapon fire sound effects it's kind of weird we did it Go to my shop. On route to Dead Ark. <clears throat> Shot accuracy, death pickups. Uh, one out of 13 areas clear. Fire to continue. I have $2,000, so I can grab weapons. Cover your back. Backlash, starburst. Defenses are classic military types. Certain structures are switchers you can destroy. Magnet warning. Oh no! shield left. I got points for the missiles that died there. That's a little weird. Choices here. I wonder what this is like four player. Nope. Oh, I don't keep my money. So if I want to kill that, I need to use a smart bomb.
transport up. There's definitely something weird about uh Wow, smart bomb. There's definitely something weird about the uh lack of sound effects when you shoot. straightforward level here, just, you know, a lot of fast moving targets. getting them when they're behind me, which is kind of frustrating. I got my bomb back, that's good. Be a boss. The twins apply for the position with Ruck Ruck Bodgers but failed the test. Nestor doesn't care about the test, he just cares about firepower. These beasts unload mass amounts of bounce bombs. Okay. So why are they bounce bombs?
Yeah, these bosses aren't very creative. Like, am I missing something here? Is there, is there, is there a challenge to these guys that I'm just not grabbing? player might be like I, I don't know like so far I've not been like super impressed with they got here maybe this is better as a oh there's two of them All right, maybe this is better as a multiplayer game they're absorbing the power from this kills you? Oh, man, that's long. Oh, this feels like it's going to take forever. Yep, boss, please. They don't affect gravity properly, or these bounce bombs just bounce randomly. So he arrives as his brother. I feel safer when I'm up the top when those balls are bouncing. Looks 
like the bounce balls are not affected by uh, bombs. I've defeated Denark, the mineral planet Denark is proud. Alright, let's go to Genebo. What else we got? So we upgraded our ship and we have a couple new guns. Heavy meteor shower just showed up right in front of you and blah blah blah. Well, it looks like there's a lot of ship customizations to this game, which is which is nice. I guess if you could try those before you buy them. So there's a definite lack of animations on all these things. They just kind of are sprites sliding across the screen. So that gives them, makes them a little, feel a little lifeless. I know they're spaceships, they aren't really technically alive, but it makes them feel um, bland. Is that a good word? If that one's rotating, that's good. So there's some variety, I guess, in that, but it'd be better if they all had a little bit of incidental. Two guns helps. Or two bonus guns. Thousand meters. Big potatoes, meaner than he looks. Likes to upgrade his little flying rock with interesting gadgets. Wherever the turbocharged front cannon. It really is a potato. Easier with more guns. Shop, congratulations! Alright, well, this has been 19. 
93 Space Machine. Um, what do I think about this game? Um, uh, for a R-type kind of game, a side-scrolling shmup, uh, I think it's not great. Uh, I like the idea of having different ships and different customizations that you can um, choose between. You know, uh, different weapons, different different ship hulls. I think that's cool. I think upgrades are good. Um, and, you know, different types of unlocks and stuff like that. Um, I'd like to be able to demo some of this stuff first off, but uh, before purchasing, because, you know, money ain't cheap. Um, yeah, I, I think it's okay, not great. Um, but maybe we're checking out. The, the thing that bugs me on this one is that... Um, it's rough around the edges, like the, the ship doesn't have any weight to it, like the guns don't make noise, or at least the balance is wrong. And uh, it makes you feel just like you're just not there. And some enemies have animation was good, but others don't, so it makes that experience inconsistent. Uh, but overall, it's a fair shoot-em-up, but probably not one that is uh, the best of the bunch out there. Cheers!